In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve problems involving the length of a line and midpoint. So over here we have a question that states that the distance between two points P, 7, A, and Q, A plus 1, 9, is 15. So we have to find the two possible values for A. So once again, the distance P, Q is equal to 15. And we already know the equation for the distance of a line or the length of a line. That's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared and all we really need to do now is just plug in our values into our equation so we can say that p can be x2 and x1 or x1 and y1 i'm sorry and q can be x2 and y2 now we just need to plug this into our equation and then solve it algebraically in order to get the values of a so we get x2 minus x1 so a plus 1, or the square root of a plus 1 minus x1, which is 7, whole squared plus y2 minus y1, so 9 minus a, whole squared, and this is equal to 15. So we can square both sides, and from that we'll get... 225 is equal to a plus, or actually a minus 6 whole squared plus 9 minus a whole squared. So from this we get a squared minus 12a plus 36, and then this plus 81 minus 18a plus a squared is equal to 225. Now we can simplify this. We get from these two 2a squared minus 12a minus 18a gives us um, minus 30a plus 36 plus 81 minus 225 is equal to 0. So if we simplify this, we get 2a squared minus 30a, and then 36 plus 81, what's that? That is 117, I believe, and then minus 225 gives us minus 108 is equal to 0. We can divide all this by 2. So we get a squared minus 15a minus 54 is equal to 0, and now we just need to factorize this in order to solve for a. So for negative 54, we can get negative 6 and positive 9, or vice versa, but that doesn't give us 15. What else can we get? 18 and 3, I believe. So minus 18 and positive 3, and that gives us minus 15. So a squared minus, or let's do plus. 3a minus 15a minus 54 is equal to 0. a times a plus 3 minus 15, actually this should be 18, minus 18 times a plus 3 is equal to 0. a minus 18 times a plus 3 is equal to 0, and a is either equal to 18, or a is equal to negative 3. So these are our final answers, or final values for a. Alright, let's look at another example. So this example states that the vertices of a parallelogram a, b, c, d are a, negative 10, 1, b, 6, negative 2, and c, 14, 4. So we don't know the value of the vertices d. And we have to first find the midpoint of AC and then the coordinates of d. So A is pretty simple, we just need to plug it into our equation. So the midpoint of AC is equal to the x-coordinates of A, so plus the x-coordinates of C, negative 10 plus 14 over 2, and then we find the y-coordinate, which is 1 plus 4 over 2. 
this is equal to 4 over 2, 5 over 2. From this, we get our answer as 2, let's write that meter, 2, 2.5. Okay, so part B, or the next part of our question, requires a little, a little knowledge about what a parallelogram is. So parallelograms, well, they're essentially any shape that has parallel sides, or both of its sides are parallel to each other. So for example, these two sides are parallel, and these two sides are parallel. And let's label our points A, B, C, and D. So if you have a vertices connecting any two points, so if A and B or C and D, the points where both of these intersect is also the midpoint of both of these points. So the midpoint of B and D is also the midpoint of A and C. So from this we get that the midpoint of B and D is equal to the midpoint of B, or I'm sorry, A and C. And from this, we get that the midpoint of BD is equal to 2, 2.5, which is what we solved for in the last question. And another thing that I want you to note is that when you write like the vertices of a parallelogram A, B, C, D, that means that the points will come across in the order A, B, C, D. So for example, we have A, B, C, D. It won't be something like A, C, D, B. So that's just to help you know where the different points are. But anyway. So we already know the value of, or the location of the point B. So B, has the coordinates, I already forgot, 6, negative 2. And we have to find the coordinates of D, which let's say are um, x, y. And we also know the coordinates of the midpoint. So, and we can plug this into the value, and we can plug all the values that we have into the midpoint equation. So, x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, which gives us our midpoint. So we get 6 plus x over 2, and then negative 2 plus y over 2 is equal to our midpoint, which we already know is equal to 2 comma 2.5. So from this, we get that 6 plus x over 2 is equal to 2, you get 6 plus x is equal to 4, x is equal to negative 2, and then we can plug in our values for y. So we get negative 2 plus y over 2 is equal to 2.5, negative 2 plus y is equal to 5, y is equal to 7. So our value for x is negative 2 and our value for y is 7. So we get the coordinates of D as negative 2, 7.